So, as you can see, I'm over here in Jacksonville, Florida. I just took a, I brought a FEMA load down here yesterday. I've been down here for a whole day already. And um, they told us that they'll probably get to us like in the evening of yesterday. And so then, um, <clears throat> They told us in the evening yesterday to be here, if we was going to bobtail out, to be here at like 6 o'clock because they're going to start taking people at 6 o'clock. So they say, you want to be here at 6 a.m. in the morning? And so I was driver number seven. I didn't never go anywhere. Been here all day today and it is now about 5.30 and no trucks have left. And I was supposed to be in the first 10 trucks that was gonna leave and go somewhere. And it is now over a hundred trucks out here that they're staged at the mall. And this mall is kind of abandoned. And so it's now over a hundred trucks out here that's uh, waiting to get, that's uh, waiting to get unloaded by FEMA. Now, what they're telling us is, they work in like eight hour shifts and so since they work in eight hour shifts what that mean is uh they can unload um <clears throat> they can unload 12 to 16 trucks in an hour depending on how fast the forklift drivers uh unload trucks and as you can see all the way down there so all this is depending on how fast the forklift drivers unload the truck so even if they unload the trucks uh, <clears throat> for tomorrow that means these some of these people are gonna have to stay here over the weekend because today is Thursday so if they unload it 16 times 8 but you know they ain't finna unload 16 trucks, 16 trucks per hour. Uh, so even if they did, and they unloaded 16 trucks, and you got over 150 trucks that's out here, they people still gonna be sitting till Monday or Tuesday on a load. All I can say is hope you're getting paid attention because it's real out here in these streets.